refractions of waivers at the boundary. You have learned refractions in form four, form four, chapter five, light. Refraction is the change in directions of the wave. And this change of direction is caused by the change of the speed. Okay, so it's the change in directions of a wave due to the change of the speed of wave when the wave moves from one medium to another medium. Okay, so what is refraction? It's a change of direction. So what caused the change of direction? Because the change of the speed of the wave. Okay, in SPM, you need to know when a wave it moves from one medium to another medium where the speed change, okay, it will be refracted approaches or away from the normal. And that's what you need to know. Eh? Because in exam, they will ask you to uh, sketch the, the wavefront diagram eh, after refractions. So you must know it's refracted closer to the normal or away from the normal. So that's what you need to know. Refractions of wavelengths at a boundary. Eh? Uh, there are three cases that you need to know. The first one is when water waves move from deeper region to shallower region. Deeper region to shallower region is from a higher speed to a lower speed. Okay, because deeper region it moves faster, shallower region it moves slower. So from faster to slower, uh, the wave will be refracted, approaching the normal or closer to the normal. Okay, let me show you the pictures. So this is deeper regions so that we can see from the wavelength. Okay, the wavelength is longer, so it's the deeper regions. And this is the normal. This is the normal. And this is the directions of the wave. So if the directions of the wave does not change, then so it will move in these directions. Okay. But when it move into the shallower region, this is a boundary. When it move into the shallower regions, uh, we can identify the shallower region from the wavelength. You can see that the wavelengths is uh, much shorter okay and then so this is the directions of the wave huh? okay now always remember the directions of the wave is always at right angle 90 degree with the directions of the wave front so if this is the directions of the wave huh? 90 degree okay it's always 90 degree with the directions of the wave fronts okay so this one also, uh, if this is the wave fronts, then uh, this is the directions, uh, 90 degree, right angles. Uh. And from here, we can see that initially, this is the directions of the wave. Uh. After refractions, this is the directions. Uh. So it means that the direction is closer to the normal. This is the normal, okay? This is the initial directions. This is the refracted directions of the refracted wave, uh, you can see that it's actually the direction is closer to the normal. So from deeper regions to shallower region uh, is refracted closer to the normal. So from deeper to shallower is closer to the normal. Okay, then if the wave move from shallower regions to deeper regions, it will be refracted away from the normal. Okay, so this is the diagram. So this is shallower regions. The wavelength is shorter. This is deeper regions. The wavelength is longer. And this is the directions of the wave. And uh, from shallower to deeper regions, initially it moves in these directions. Initially it moves in these directions. Okay. After that, it's refracted away from the normal. This is normal. It's, it's refracted away from the normal. Okay. So from shallower to deeper, it's uh, refracted away from the normal. Okay, now if the directions of the wave is parallel to the normal, for example, uh, this is the normal, this is a normal, and then the directions of the wave uh, is parallel to the normal, uh, if this is the case, uh, then uh, the wave is not refracted, the direction is still the same, uh, but the wavelength will become shorter from deeper to shallower region. Uh. From deeper to shallower regions, the wavelength will become shorter, but it's not refracted. The, the direction is still the same. Eh? The direction is still the same. 